All right, it's Wednesday, and today we are in Luke chapter 21, and we are starting in verse 29. And he spoke to them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. And when they are already budding, you see and know for yourselves that summer is now near. <clears throat> so he's talking about the times, how, how they knew uh, when the fig tree would start to bud, you knew, hey, spring was almost over and summer is about to come. You can know, understand what's going on. You see and know for yourselves that summer is now near. So also, you also, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Now, up to this point, Jesus has been telling them about the signs uh, of the coming of Jesus, when he would come back. There's going to be all kinds of signs of things happening. And surely, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth pass away by words, but by no means pass away. Now, this is one of the most, this is a verse that people take and they go, see, Jesus talked to his disciples here, told them all these things are going to happen, and this generation will not pass away till all these things take place. Now, here's the thing. I I, I get how you, you, you read that. I get how people read that. Um, but you got to understand this. He didn't say the disciples here. Uh, he was talking about the gener and I said this generation, this generation, the generation that sees all these things happen, will by no means pass away till all these things take place. So, and what happens when they start seeing these things happening? The generation that's going to be the one where where they're going to recognize the sign that Jesus is coming. They're 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 going to see it happen during that generation. Now, what's happened over the time? We've seen different things happen. Things all all through and people point. Well, see, Jesus is coming back now because of this, 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 and this. Here's the thing. We, we don't know. We God gave us to be on the watch. And he says to be on the watch. Why? Because he's giving us a chance to win others to the Lord. A lot of people go, well, he, these things haven't happened. All this, this, this could have happened. And we can go through all points of time where, where all of these signs maybe have lined up. But were they exactly the, the right things? We, you know, God says no one knows the day and the hour for a reason. Um, because, you know, just because you thought this was it doesn't mean this is what God was speaking to. God was speaking to say hey, there's a time when jesus is going to come back now when's that going to be i don't know but i tell people all the time you know if jesus can, he can come back right now that's great but you know what if he gives me another day that shares jesus with someone else i absolutely will um that that because you know what's he doing he's, he's giving people a chance every day he doesn't come back another chance for someone to come to know jesus christ because when he comes back you know that that that's going to be the end going forward right that it you know it doesn't it, Things are going to change in a dramatic way. Right now, we have the ability in, in the church age that we live in now, the age of the church, to see amazing things happen, see God move in amazing ways, okay? And 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 our goal is he gave us the Holy Spirit so we can do some amazing things to what? Bring people to Jesus. The Holy Spirit is given so we can draw people unto him, that you will receive power from the Holy Spirit, Acts 1.8, to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, uh, and Samaria, to the ends of the world. You know, what an amazing, we're supposed to go out and win as many people we can. Now, when Jesus was talking to the disciples, when he said Jerusalem, that's their hometown, then well, where they were based, and then Judea and Samaria was their country, and Judea and Samaria together was ancient Israel, and then the whole world. So he wants everybody to hear about Jesus. He wants us all to share the gospel as long as we have time. And be sure when all of these things that Jesus talks about earlier, now if you want to find out, go back and read the rest of Luke chapter 21. Go read Matthew chapters 24 and 25. And when you see all this, okay, now you might say, boy, all this, now, all this is taking place. you got to realize what happens. We need to be motivated to say, this could be it. Now, it might not be it, but this could be it. And we need to share others with Jesus because you don't know when he's coming back. Remember, time is short. You know, we only live here 0.23 seconds. A day is like the Lord. A day of the Lord is like a thousand years. A thousand years is like a day. Second Peter 3. Eight. You know, our life, all of human history is not real long. Okay, and we gotta understand that that our our time is precious to win others to the Lord. He's motivating us to do that. When you see these things coming, you better realize that people could be missing the boat. Now, whether it's the exact thing that's going to happen, who knows? Right now, a lot of things are happening. Uh, you got all these crazy things going on. The people that are supposed to know things have set the doomsday clock to ninety seconds, the closest it's ever been to where man's going to destroy themselves. And there's a lot of things going on. But here's the thing. God, God has everything in control. We don't have to worry about what man's going to do. We just have to worry about what Jesus is going to do. Because when you see all these things, realize the time is short to tell others about Jesus. And that's what we got to be about. And when we do that, we're touching the heart of God. And when you touch the heart of God, then miracles follow. What you need follows you in life because the signs will follow those who believe. Why? Because those who believe share what they believe. That's how you know who believes. Uh, you want the signs to follow you? Mark chapter 16, verses 7 to 18. You actually have to show that you believe by sharing your faith with others because you know what um 
time is short. Time is coming. God say, hey, when this happens, that's it. And, and God, he, he, he gives us a lot of teasers through history. People did this, 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 this. But can we look at that and say, you know, Jesus could be coming back tomorrow. What can I do to win someone to Jesus? Because here's the guy, I do realize this, <clears throat> that every day, 153,000 people die. Every day. And they are either in heaven or in hell. That means the end of the world is the end of the world for someone every for 153,000 people every single day across the world. Every single day. That means over a million people a week. 30 million plus per month. That is absolutely... Oh, no, no, not 30 million a month. It'd be about 4 million a month. Uh, yeah, a week, four months, yeah. About a million a week, four million a month before the Lord or or in hell. Every single month. And that means, in, you know, think about just, just how many people are meeting the end now. Can we be about winning their souls to Jesus so they have a chance to be with Jesus forever in paradise in heaven? Well, that, that's our goal. That's our focus. Well, thanks for joining us today. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you, and you're absolutely awesome.